Hi, this is Maddie Smith and this is a short video on how to reduce backscatter in your wide angle underwater photography. This is episode one. In episode two, I'll be covering reducing backscatter in macro photography. Backscatter is particles floating around in the water that can often ruin our underwater photographs. It's things like sand or silt or planktonic life forms. And when the light from our strobe strikes these, these objects in the water, it reflects back into the lens and causes a big spray of annoying white dots in the photograph. Backscatter can never be completely eradicated from photographs, but it can definitely be greatly reduced just by considering our strobe positions. When your strobe fires, it emits a, a cone of light, as you can see on the screen now in that picture. You'll notice right in front of the strobe there is a dense area, a hot spot of really bad backscatter. And as we move further away from the strobe, the backscatter becomes softer and more evenly dispersed and more pleasant looking. So the aim of the game is, is to consider the angle of view of your lens and move your strobes way behind that. That way you're going to soften the light and reduce backscatter instantly and improve the quality of your pictures. Look at this second image of my camera setup from above. Here I'm using a wide angle or fisheye lens with a really wide angle of view depicted here by the red lines. You'll notice with my strobes slightly out of shot just behind those red lines the backscatter is going to encroach into the photograph and create these awful white backscattery marks. If I move the strobes well back behind my water housing and way out of the field of view of that fisheye lens, by moving the strobes back I take along with it a lot of that dense area of backscatter which is no longer visible to the lens. So with this second example image taken on a really low visibility day with lots of backscatter, this is taken literally one minute after the last example, and by pulling the strobes back and removing that dense hot spot of backscatter out of the field of view of the lens, I've improved the quality of the light. Also in this example, I actually raised the, uh, the strobes slightly away from the seabed into a higher position to avoid illuminating the white sand around the seagrass. The common mistake is actually to try and push your strobes too far forward because as we know underwater light falls off quite quickly and by pushing the strobes forward just onto the edge of the field of view of my wide angle lens I'm increasing the backscatter and making the problem worse. So by pulling the lights back I'm softening the light, allowing the light to spread a bit more and reducing the backscatter but I've got to be prepared that that is going to reduce some of the light available to me reaching the subject. So I may have to adjust the exposure slightly by opening up an f-stop or turning the power up on my strobe as I pull them further away. Hope all that made sense. Please leave a comment below. If there's any questions, please write them below and I'll do my best to answer them.